Joining me here is actor turned politician and BJP's Trishu Lok Sabha candidate, Mr. Suresh Gopi. Mr. Gopi, there's a tough competition, a triangular competition here. A former minister of the CPI and a senior leader of the Congress. What do you think are your advantages in the constituency? I'm another candidate. My backbone is the spine of my political party, which has proved its true grit at the national level and taken the universe or the world by surprise. Whatever has not happened through 30 or 40 years has been made possible and is very vibrantly seen by the world. So that is my backbone or the strength of my spine the spine of my political party which proposes me and presents me as a promise to the people. So the people are also aware of the happenings in the country and how it is taken by the whole world. So I think that is an extra bone. <laughs> what are your promises for the people of Trishu? Promises are plenty. They will have to tell me their needs their um, immediate needs, their uh, dire needs, their violent needs, all that. All that will be taken into account. There will be a, a data platter set and then we'll set a development platter, which I will try my maximum level to deliver. What is your vision for Trishul? Vision is whatever has not happened through at least 10 years should happen in the next five years. Your opponents are seeking votes in the name of secularism. They say that uh, uh, for uh, the country's uh, democracy not to be uh, hampered, you need to have the opposition alliance. So how would you react? On we that? are just looking at the life of the people. Their expectations of the betterment of their life situations. I am only looking at that. Kerala has a considerable uh, Christian population in Trishur and across the state. There has been a, reach, a lot of reach out from the BJP and from you as well. But instances like what happened in Manipur, do you think that this will have a... Some I, will kind say, of I will say you talk about the ground reality right under your nose. What about Punyar? It is happening and again and again. And about Manipur, you ask the Archbishop, Oswalji, you ask him, you ask the Supreme Court, you ask the High Court of Manipur, they will tell you the truth. Why do you want to deflect that truth and then hamper the voting minds and then turn hackers of democracy, hackers of deliverance to the people? Why do you want to do that? Sway away from that. Be noble politicians. More than being noble humans, be noble politicians. Don't be ignoble. You're seeking vote for development and for change? It's basically not for change. It's for happenings. And for diverting all the mishappenings. Transacting all the mishaps into, say, gracious activities and then benevolent deliverances. Opposition parties are saying that the BJP is not giving them a level playing field. Investigation, investigating agencies are unleashed on the opposition parties and only on the opposition parties. Uh, uh, Congress's accounts have been freezed. Do you, are you telling the people, are you sending a wrong message that all these culprits and <laughs> should be set scot-free? Is that your intent? Is that your contention? Tell me that. What they are saying is that, oh, are you saying that Don't only tell in... tell me about what they are saying. As a responsible media, what does CNN want to say about it? We are here to pose questions to you as well as to them. So they are I'm saying this... I am not ready to take your question. I need answers too. Uh, the fourth estate is the most responsible pillar in democracy. That is what I believe. 
you should not be spreading untruth to make the people suffer more election is a one day process but we have to pose the our questions to you also the same not to me not to me you put to it them. to the people they will answer you with votes and what is before i let you go what do you have to tell the people of thrissur please vote for yourself not for your polity not for your political thinking not to let grow your symbols your family should be your symbol your coming generations should be your thoughtfulness vote thoughtfully vote for whatever that can turn your life into best for the coming generations set the groundwork clear now so that that foothold that what do you call it that strong foundation like how shrimati indira gandhi did like how vashpay did like how narasimha rao did like how choudhary charan singh did let there be a strong foundation laid let us demolish all the crackers and the hackers and build a strong foundation for the country and contribute your vote into making every stone which will not be a melting stone